welcome back to another video so i'm going to do a little bit of a, a valentine's design today so i've got some new madame glam gel paints i did already have the black and i've got another three so just like the gels the paints are vegan cruelty free palm oil free hemma free 21 free formula all the ingredients are on the bottle the the pot as well and they're five mil I think there's 12 in this collection of paints in total so I've got the black like I said I already had that previous so my new ones are I've got this white one beautiful baby pink I like that color it's cute and I've got a red as well so I'm gonna be doing something with those today and I've also gonna I'm also gonna be using this white from Madame Glam it's the whitest white I have ever used if you put it next to any other white from any other brand, you will see, you think white is white, but it's not. You, you will see how much <laughs> whiter it is. So I'm just giving my tips a quick base coat. This is Madame Glam base coat as well, and that needs 30 seconds in the lamp. Then I'm going to give every nail, a, every nail is going to be white. So I'm just doing one coat of the white, actually. It really doesn't need to and these gels cure in the lamp for 30 seconds as well look at that white in one coat love it Right guys, so I'm going to start by using this pink gel paint and I'm using it with my Dibba Dabba Ombre spongy thing. Gel paints, especially the Madame Glam ones, they're so opaque and as they're quite thick as well, unlike gel polish, the sponge doesn't absorb them. Um, so they work really well, these paints. It's just such an easy way to do an ombre and it keeps the layers really thin as well. So I'm just starting by dabbing it kind of full cover, quite thick at the top. And then I will just, I kind of tilt my sponge and use the side of it to fade it off. If you see, I have my sponge at like a 90 degree angle against the nail for the top part. And as I get down to the fade, can you see, I start using the side of the sponge to fade it off. It does look quite sparse and barely there on this first coat and it's because like I said it puts it on in such fine thin layers really good for ombres because ombres can get quite bulky can't they so I'm going to stick that in the lamp for 30 seconds and I'm going to do I think three or four coats and you'll see even after the third and the fourth it, it keeps it really thin and it's just not bulky and yeah it's just a really easy way to do a fade these gel paints were fantastic for this because they're so opaque, yeah, it, it was really easy to do. Um, and I'm going to do that on all of the nails as well. And I'm, these gel paints, you have to cure these for 60 seconds. So 60 seconds in between each layer. Right, guys, as well, I'm going to quickly take this opportunity to tell you, massive sale, massive sale. On the 20th and the 21st of January, Madame Glamour having another 50% off sale, guys. 50% it's a big one so there will be a link in my description box and I've got a 50% off code I'll leave it on the screen um, and it's just for the 20th and the 21st of January anyway this is the glitter I'm using this is one of the glitters I got from Colors World and it's a matte pink hex mix but it's got gold and silver leaf and it's got little holographic dots in there as well it is a stunning glitter and I need to use them more often I've got quite a few different colours of it. So anyway, on these white nails, I've just given them a quick coat of base coat. And I'm just going to be putting these, the glitter into the wet base coat. And I'm just doing a bit of a fade. So I'm packing it in quite tight at the tip. And then I'm just going to fade it off up the nail. And I'm doing that on both the white nails. And they're going to get a 30 second cure as well. So 
So that's that glitter cured into place. What I'm going to do now is use old top coat. You don't want to use your nice Madame Glam top coat in case you get any bits of glitter in it. So use an old base coat, uh, top coat, sorry, use a top coat and just give a nice generous layer to seal, encapsulate all that glitter. And I'm going to give them a buff as well, just to buff them out so that they're nice and smooth. Um, because I'm going to be painting on those nails. So the nails that I am going to be painting on, I'm giving them a quick matte top coat. I, I just love painting on a matte top coat, it just makes it so much easier. Madame Glam's Velvet Matte Top Coat cures in the lamp for 30 seconds as well. So I've also got a new brush, this is the Madame Glam Detail Liner and it's just a really small little detailer brush um, it's not the tiniest, this is probably the kind of brush I would use to colour in my detailed work or if I needed short lines that are slightly thicker yeah I think this brush is going to be good for that so I'm just going to do some little love hearts on this nail both of these glitter nails are going to be the same so I just do two little dots like that and then I just joined the dots together like that at the bottom and in the middle and it's just a very easy way of doing love hearts so I'm going to put three little love hearts on this and I'm going to put three bigger ones on the ombre nail and these gel paints you have to cure them for 60 seconds and um, these Madame Glam gel paints as well guys um, they, you don't need to top coat them they cure with a dry glossy layer they don't cure with a tacky layer so if you wanted to paint a design on a matte nail like this, you wouldn't have to then go in with a top coat and mess about. They cure really nice and glossy. I really like these gel paints. Yeah, I think there's 12 colours in total in this gel, gel paint collection. I am very tempted to go in and get the rest of the colours in this 50% sale. Very tempted. And the rest of the brushes. Right, so that's all my little gel paint bits done. Look at this little charm, guys. So this charm is from a place called NiceNeeded.com. Um, I'm using this little pink. I wish I had that little pink Love Art gem. I wish I had it in red, but I didn't, so I used the pink one. Yeah, this little bear charm is from a place called NiceNeeded.com. They have got the most beautiful, beautiful charms. And they're really... I, I was so impressed with the charms I got off them. They're super, super sparkly and some really unique, cute little charms. I will leave Nice Needed website in my description box as well. I'm not sure if I've got any discount codes for them, but if I have, that'll be down there as well, guys. So I wanted this gem to kind of look like a balloon. 
like the other nails. I'm gutted I didn't have this. I did actually have a red heart like this, but it had a, a purple colour shift and I wasn't... It, it didn't match. Yeah, this pink looked a lot better. How cute is that? <laughs> right, so I'm going to get these top coated and that'll be them finished. How cute is that bear? And do you know, he is so sparkly. So, he has got the teeniest, weeniest little sparkly gems inside him. <laughs> and the glitter is stunning. And those gel paints, oh my gosh, guys. They are so, so nice to paint with. They really are. I really like them. They're so cute. That ombre, again, with, with the dibba dabba sponge, these paints were amazing. They worked really well. Gel polishes can be quite wishy-washy with them sponges because the sponge absorbs it. But these gel paints, no, they were perfect. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. Um, I will leave my discount code for Madam Glam in... It will be in the description box or pinned in the comments with the link to the website. Yeah, the sale, the 50% off sale is the 20th and the 21st of January only. I am very tempted to get these gel paints. We shall see. <laughs> we shall see. But anyway, guys, that is it for today. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Hit your notification bell as well so you don't miss any of my videos. And hopefully, I'll see you all back in my next one. Take care. Bye.